Well, today I'm looking forward to sharing with you how I decided on what colors to put into my own personal palette. I, I just would buy colors if it was on sale or if it looked like a good deal or something I wanted without any attention to why I wanted these colors. And finally, after seven palettes of color from various artists that I studied with, I decided to make my own personal palette. What I had to decide was what was important, what was going to guide me on this search. And the first thing I came up with was I wanted the colors to be transparent. The style of work that I do is layered. In other words, I do a wet into wet beginning and then I come in after it dries and I layer more color on top of it and more color and more color until I finish the painting. Well, in this layered approach, it's really important that I have transparent color. Otherwise, op opaque colors would cover up the under layers. So in my search, I found it very helpful to use this guideline for the use of watercolor paints by James Kazvarnik. And in this list, he's given us these five circles, and each circle represents a different um, quality of paint. So in ring number one, we have transparent, non-staining colors. And of those colors, I chose Aeolian yellow, cobalt blue, and permanent rose. And these, it's amazing to me that these are the only transparent, non-staining colors. And an, another quality I was really looking forward to was to choose colors that were non-staining so that if I change my mind about a color, I can lift it out again. Well, there's so few <laughs> that are not completely non-staining, but fortunately they're listed here, ring number two, the semi-transparent non-staining colors. So in there, I chose raw sienna, quinacridone gold, quinacridone burnt orange, which is a fabulous color. You could also substitute uh, burnt orange, or sorry, um, burnt sienna. But I prefer the quinacridone burnt orange because it is so much more transparent and mixes so beautifully with other colors. And then I added quinacridone coral, scarlet lake, and permanent magenta, and Antwerp blue. Now this next ring is, to be aware, these are transparent but staining colors. So thanks to some advice from my friend Donnie Breutzman, I put my staining colors outside on this marvelous palette that's been designed by Quiller. This is Quiller's travel palette, and it's the one I use when I put all my colors in it. And so I have my alizarin crimson, and phthalo green, two very staining colors, but two very necessary colors on my palette because they're such useful tools, not only as the color itself, but when you mix them with other paints, you can get such rich and dark values. So I did choose Windsor yellow, alizarin crimson, and phthalo green in these staining colors to be on my palette. Now the two outer rings are the colors that really you should really think about it before you put them on your palette because they are opaque, they contain white paint, or in the case of ring number five, they contain black and white paint and unknown sources of color. We don't know what they are. If you, call, if you put in a color like um, neutral tint, you have no idea what's in that color, and, or burnt umber, or um, some black carbon black or something. You have no idea what's in there, but it's very disappointing because often when those colors dry, they look great when they're wet, but they dry and the white rises up to the surface and you have this opaque kind of murky, muddy color. So think very hard about ring number four. For example, all the cadmiums are in there. Cadmium yellow, cadmium red, cadmium orange, cadmium scarlet. All those colors are opaque and when you put them over or onto your paint surface, they are going to be covering everything up. And I do always give a little bit of consideration to the fact that the cadmiums are also a very dangerous paint. You shouldn't be touching them with your fingers or you certainly shouldn't leave your palette uncovered if you have cats or young children around because the cadmiums are dangerous. And then now ring number five. Uh, there's all these colors contain white or black in them. 
And for example, I do still have, I have to admit, I still have indigo on my palette. And I use that color frequently when I'm doing atmospheric watercolors. And I want to get this real gray down day. Oh, it's a fabulous color for that. But I have to, I found out about that color when I was teaching at Halifax. And the ladies out there had these gorgeous paintings. And I said, well, what color do you use for that? And they said, indigo. So I do have indigo. And you can see, I love my palette. I mean, this is, this has been around the world a few times. It's kind of beaten up. But let me tell you, this is the perfect palette. So now we offer my, my colors all set up for you in the Quiller palette. And we not only label them, so you know what colors you, you're working with, we also do this wonderful trick. You're going to love this. We actually squeeze the paint out, and we do a really good job getting it all out. And we take a full 15 ounce, or not ounce, but millimeter tube, squeeze it into two pallets. So this is half of a 15 millimeter tube. And here's the cool thing that Jonathan came up with. Simply by using a paper clip that he's pulled out, we can mix colors that tend to separate. For example, one of the worst colors to separate is Ross Sienna. And look at this. With just a minute, you've got it all nicely mixed and nicely flattened out. And then any colors that don't go all the way to the edge, you just give them a little push around, and there it is. Here's another one. E Erolean. No, this is Windsor Yellow. And that one's pretty good. Erolean almost always goes out and smooths out really nice. But look at a lot of them end up looking like turds. And it amazes me how many people leave them like that. When just this little short, look at this, just a matter of a few seconds and you've got this nice and level. And I prefer to take the paint out of my palette when it's level because those turds end up with the dirty water running around them and they're really, it's really hard to clean your palette. Now, with, with the palette looking this dirty, this I've been on the road for five weeks. I'll just go over to the sink and under running water while my paint is bone dry like this, I will just take a brush, clean this all up, and I'm ready to go. And I'll just come in and put fill these level again with all fresh paint over clean paint. So I know it looks really bad right now, but that's one of my duties today. Come back and clean that up. So I just wanted to tell you that we have a great offer for you. Um, if you want to purchase my palette, we have two palettes to offer you. One is this Quiller palette that has all my colors in it. And this would, including the palette, sells for $160. And we're going to offer that for $145. And we're also going to include this lovely guideline so that you can think about adding on to this your own personal color choices. We also have a palette, and this is my travel palette. I love this palette. And you can see the wells are very deep. These are all my colors, and what I did here is I put all the warm colors on the right, all the cool colors on the left, and then I put the colors across from each other that are complementary. So we have the blue and the orange and the yellow and the violet and the red and the green. So it's really easy to find them. I mean, I really like setting my colors up in a circle, but for travel, this is perfect. I know where to go. Look at all the mixing space. And then with this little cover, it's amazing. If your paints are wet and they run a little bit, let me tell you, they'll just be here like little dots waiting for you to reactivate and reuse. So this, and there's plenty of room here. I put my brushes in here. This fits anything I travel with. This fits right in. And you can see on the cover here, we have listed all the colors and in their position. And you can also see that there's plenty of room. There's a lot of openings here for you to add your own personal color choices. And this one sells normally for $135. We have it for $120. Now this is for a limited time only. So if you're watching this and you want to find out, check our website at carlinholman.com or call Jonathan at 715-373-2922 for our current prices. Thank you.